so my rent is due in 30 days and I'm only a new Roblox developer with three months of scripting experience, no coding background, no game development background. I think I'm screwed. Uh, if I don't build a successful Roblox game in 30 days, I'll straight up be broke and homeless. So this is day one of my rents due in 30 days series. I'll be uploading a devlog every single day showing you what I build, what I end up breaking, and everything I learn along the way. By the end of this, if I don't have a fully playable game, I straight up won't be able to keep the lights on. I'm gonna be kicked out. If I can pull this off, if I can actually pay my rent with Robux, that would be insane. So subscribe to find out if I actually make it to day 30 as a Roblox millionaire, or if I end up sleeping at my local 7-Eleven dumpster. I have no time to waste. Let's jump into day one where I go over the main game idea. I begin creating the main game loop, some leader stats, and a few more things. Let's go. I want there to be two teams. I want there to be one giant hallway and two teams. I want one team to be on one side of the hallway and then the other team to be on the other side of the hallway. And I want each round to start. I want the players to be able to select their team and just battle it out in the in the middle of the hallway. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make two spawns and two teams. Now I want to script the functionality, some of the functionality. Um, we we can start out with we'll start out with the main game loop, and then we can build from there. Awesome, so now we've got a countdown and now we can decide what we want to do after this countdown. So I think I'm going to have them choose teams now. So I'm going to create a function that allows them to choose teams. Um, to do that, I'm going to make some UI, some simple UI for now. I'll, I'll make it nicer later. Alright, let's see if this works. Hit play. Alright, so we're counting down. So this would be like we're inside of a lobby waiting. And it doesn't work. I don't see any GUI. So let's figure out why. Okay, awesome. I am gonna choose team one. Okay, so now we've we're in team one. This is promising. Uh it didn't teleport me in. Now it's restarting the timer. Okay, let's figure out why it didn't teleport me. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna work on Adding some player stats. I want the game to involve like elimination or kills. I want something that can track kills. I want a leader stat that can do that. And I also want a gold leader stat so that maybe after every round, depending on how many, how many kills the player got, they're awarded a certain amount of gold that stays with them. Uh, whether they leave or join back, I want that gold to stay with them and they can use that to, to buy some exclusive prizes. So we're gonna have to use data stores.
it looks like my gold stayed, so the data store is working perfect. So the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to just spawn in a classic sword whenever the player spawns in and the, and the round is active. So I'm going to make custom weapons for this game, but I'm, for now I'm just going to go ahead and spawn in a sword. So now we're going to test to see if the sword spawns in with the player when they get teleported into the team spawn. And it looks like we have our sword. So next we're going to build like a Ferrari hallway and we're going to start building some of our bases up. Maybe with like a base core, a base core that the, that the team has to kill. Oh my gosh, was that really the issue? I'm trying to figure out why this this died function won't fire. Okay, there we go. That was the issue. I literally meet, misspelled humanoid root part. Okay, so now I should be able to only attack the other team's core. I shouldn't be able to attack my own core, so let me go ahead and try that. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so now I'm going to work with the kill tracking. I want to make sure that every time somebody kills somebody else with a sword, it adds a point to their kills. And then I will probably have them also progress with those kills towards the other person's base. I think I'm going to use a conveyor belt.
So here you can see that I got the kill tracker working. When player one kills player two, you can see that their kills value went up by one. Okay, so that's gonna be it for day one. Uh, thanks for watching day one of my 30 day noob dev challenge. And if you enjoyed this or learned something, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps me out. And if you wanna see more and see if I actually finish this game before rents due, then make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions about what I've built or any of the scripting logic, please drop a comment and I'll try to answer or I'll even make a video about it. So I'll see you guys in day two.